All right, we're back. Bob Ciccarella with Bodybuilding.com and our continuing coverage of the 2008 Olympia Series. We are here with Gustavo Bedell. Finally, we were trying to catch up with you last year, but you're getting ready for the Olympia again this year, of course. And I know you spend most of your time in Puerto Rico these days, so uh, thanks for coming to uh, Florida for the Dexter Jackson Classic. And uh, we figured we'd catch up and sneak a workout in. How are you doing these days? I'm doing great, doing fantastic. I'm in Puerto Rico doing my prep for the old. I'm very focused, just training, go to the beach, relax, just focus for the Olympia to be, try to be 110 percent at the show. 110. Yes, is yes, hundred, definitely. Is always making it. No, well, they always say there's something to, to improve and be better, sure. and, and the, the fans want to see that. And uh, I always promise to be better each show that I step in, and then the Olympia, of course, the Super Bowl. Uh, I have to be 110 percent for the fans. There's a time to be 110. This is going to be it. Uh, yeah. The field is wide open. Uh, Jay showing a little bit of, you know, a little kink in the armor last year. There didn't come in 100 uh, percent. Victor was on the money, but just didn't have enough to take it. Uh, but Victor's out of the lineup this year. So I know a lot of guys are kind of clamoring in there, thinking it might be their time. I know Dexter's very confident. This might be his best shot for the Olympia. Phil Heath coming in, one of the new guys, Dennis Holt from last year. How do you see yourself stacking up against these guys? Well, I think I got experience. I was there in the top three at Olympia before. So for me, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not a new thing. I mean, I belong to the Olympia stage. And uh, of course, always as you know, good, good things and bad things happen in the prep. Uh, bodybuilding is very unpredictable, but at this time I'm very focused. I did with what I have to you know, what I have to do for the, all my prep, and now I'm very confident about you know the show. I think I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Like I said, it's very unpredictable, but I'll be ready to fight with those guys. I know how to do it. I've been on, on the Olympia stage, you know, a couple times. Sure, top you're, six, you're a veteran and, of the Olympia stage, and uh, I know how to do it. You know, I know how to do it, and uh, I'm going to be ready for those guys. I, I mean. Dexter, I think Dexter is the guy to beat this this year. I mean, even I respect Jay Cutler, but I didn't see Jay lately. But I see Dexter last weekend, and he looks great. He's getting bigger, and uh, and uh, with Dexter condition, there's uh, the guy who was you know I was trying to be, you know, big size, uh, condition, crazy conditions. Uh, that's what yes, that's my plan too to go you know with that kind of package, and the Dexter has it though. Sure. Uh, let's see what happens. You know, Jay Cummins good. Let's see with Jay. You know, because always it's unpredictable. You see, sure. the day of the show. You know, actually there's two day show. Right. It's Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. You know? Now I learned my lesson, so I need I need to see what happens this year because it's going to be very interesting. I'm yep. very I'm very focused to the you know the, this show. Absolutely, uh, Gustavo. The Olympia always is interesting because, like you say, nobody cares what you look like on Thursday and nobody cares what you look like on Sunday. That's right. It's all about Friday and Saturday at the Olympia. All right, well, bottoms up, Gustavo. I'll let you finish that off. And uh, what are we going to be training today? I'm going to do a chest today. All just right. Let's see what happens. And then let's see what happens. Oh, let's see what happens. All right. Looks like the chest is pumped. Uh, Gustavo, a little return to old school here. Dumbbell fly super set with pullovers. I haven't seen pullovers in years. But something well, I started with actually as a kid. We did those for, for 15, 20 years. You know what? It's, uh, it's basics. All those exercises are basic. I'm an old school guy too. I believe in that thing. Those exercises are the best to build up, to keep a very better detail sure. to the muscles and and make me feel like I'm training really heavy. I don't like to, you know, go just my whole workout, just fancy machine. Sure. I don't feel the same way. Right. You know, you know what I mean, I'm because right you're old school. You, sure. And I know is uh, most of the people, they respect the basics. Always dumbbell, flies, flat, bench, incline with barbell, dumbbells, they're basics. 
you got to combine with some machine that's good or cables sure the base is always going to be basic because this is how everybody starting this point um well gustavo one of the things you were touching on earlier during your training session was that importance of recovery um and it sounds like that's something you paid even more particular attention to this year rather than the training itself actually is more on the other end of recovery is that something you kind of lost throughout the last few years was that attention to recovery definitely yes i mean i've been competing for the last seven years non-stop no rest and uh and i take time off this time four months sure. almost and uh, i i i appreciate you know with the rest what it can do to your body especially when you do a contest right now I, I I I respect very much, and uh, and I feel like my body is responding very, very fast and, and much better than before. Because sometimes you think you need to work extra hard, or you think to go extra hard in your diet. Sometimes it's most important is you have to rest. We don't pay attention to that, especially we could be professionals, right. and we need to, we have goals, and we need to do go go to the shows, big shows like Miss Olympia. But this is important. Rest is very important, especially when you've been doing for a long time this sure. kind of you know preparation, diet, training, heart training, cardiovascular. So for me, was the best was taking time off, and I feel yeah. fantastic. I feel that everything is getting better and better for this time. Sure. Gustavo, let me ask you this. Uh, one of the points of interest for this year that you've noted before was that your conditioning had to be spot on. You got the size, you got the muscle, you got the thickness now and the muscle maturity, but conditioning had to be spot on. I know you're a big advocate of hydroxy cut hardcore. Uh, is that something that's going to help you get Dexter Jackson like conditioning or is that just pure genetics on his part? Well, that's, you know, that's Dexter, but it's not me. I don't have genetics. So I got to so You don't walk around at the 2% uh, fat like he No, does. I have to take uh, hydroxy cut <laughs> hardcore couple times a day and help me you know to always be on on condition at any show it's not going to be my problem Dex is I know Dex's condition is good but my condition always good too I'm gonna you know I, I don't worry about nobody it's just about myself but I respect that Jackson because now he got a little bit more size and I, I think is is the man to be this time you know I mean I respect all everybody but I see Dex lately and I know it's a, give me motivation because we competed before I beat Dex in 2004 is a guy it's, it's different guy so now. It's beatable. <laughs> it's beatable, and I'll be ready. So I think it's gonna be interesting. Oh, the most important thing is is a good competition. Sure. There's gonna be a couple guys that are very good, and let's see what the judges. It's a hard work to the judges. Sure. Believe me, because I, I don't gonna, I, I, I'm not gonna make it easy for them. I'm gonna be harder because I'm gonna try to be 110 percent, like I said before. Sure. Well, Gustavo, you got a huge fan base out there. You got a lot of European fans. You spend a lot of time traveling abroad. Uh, you know, building up that fan base. Any message for the fans out there? is you're into your second part and the final part of your Olympia preparation. Well, um, I mean, you guys have been following me all my career. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready for the Olympia. I'm very serious and uh, I respect you very much. All the guys that send me email every day. I uh, thank you for your support, guys. And I believe, believe me, you know, all the people, European people, Italian people, you know, Spanish people, from South America, States, everybody, because I know I got a lot of fans in the U.S. I, that's what I live. I live in Vegas, and right now I'm in Puerto Rico because I'm hiding my my. You know, I do my preparation hiding. Just go to got, work out, I go got to news the for beach. You. you ain't hiding anywhere. Yeah, yeah, but you know that. <laughs> believe me, I'm 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 gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna show to people again. I'm gonna you know surprise again. I'm gonna bring something new. Always improve my body because I respect you guys. And thank you, thanks to you because you give me support and you give me motivation to keep working, to keep going, and uh, to my career giving, getting better and better and better. Thank you, and I see you next May Olympia 2008. I'll be, I'll be ready to fight. You're gonna see me there.